Hi, I'm Allison Venezio. Um, I was asked to talk about what retros meant to me, and I couldn't have thought of a better way to step out of my comfort zone. I am not the kind of person that makes videos or records uh, audio on a regular basis. Um, I've done it a few times uh, already uh, in the last, uh, you know, since last year because of Retroist. Uh, so I felt that I needed to expand on that further by actually making a video uh, to explain why I love Retroist, what it means to me, and my gratitude for the site. Uh, Retroist means the world to me. It means, uh, for me, it's a whole other world of writing that I only touch on on my own blog. Um, I've had Allison's written words uh, since 2012. Um, I was contemplating shutting it down last year. I really wasn't enjoying writing anymore. I felt like I was only writing for myself. I didn't realize that was actually a good thing, that I was writing for me. Um, because all I wanted was to have an audience so bad. And I realized that there are two aspects to writing. There's the part that is for you and the part that is for everybody else. And when you combine them, it's a great balance. And I found that balance because of Retroist. Um, Retroist also gives me an opportunity to work within my niche. Um, I'm a huge uh, nostalgia geek. I love 80s pop culture, uh, music, movies, TV shows, uh, cartoons. Um, I don't watch a lot of cartoons, though, anymore, but um watch a lot of movies, a lot of uh, TV shows, love 80s sitcoms, I love music uh, more than anything, and not just 80s music, I am very passionate, I've written a lot of retrospect articles about the music that I absolutely love, huge Chicago fan, huge Kenny Loggins fan, I know I've written a few articles here and there about them. Uh, I actually just recently wrote uh, three different uh, music articles uh, for Christmas for um, about the All for One Christmas album, the Chicago Christmas album, and the uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire Christmas album, which are things that I just absolutely love. I read, I wrote an article last year about the Hall & Oates uh, version of Jingle Ball Rock, which is, to this day, the only version of Jingle Ball Rock that means anything to me. I absolutely love it. I listen to it. I've listened to it every day uh, since uh, the beginning of December and up until the time I went on vacation uh, last week. Um... But I absolutely love it. It's just because of Retroist, uh, I've, you know, found things that I absolutely love about pop culture. Um, as I said, I've come out of my comfort zone more than a few times. I've recorded for two Saturday Night Frights podcasts for Halloween. Uh, last year was a Twilight Zone one, and I was very uncomfortable with the idea of recording anything. I... I know everybody says they don't like the sound of their voice. I absolutely hate the sound of my voice. And there's nothing wrong with thinking that or my voice. But I just hate it. And they said, well, you know, it's a podcast. And I said, okay, well, I really, I've always wanted to do a podcast. That was, like, the perfect way to do it. This year was a tad more comfortable with recording. I don't do a lot of it. I'm not the most polished person on camera. Obviously, my hands are flying a mile a minute while I'm talking. Uh, but that's just me. That's me. That's how I show my interest in the things that I love. Um, not just the hands flying and everything. But this is me. This is how I sound. This is how I show my appreciation for the things that I love and how I show uh, my interest in things. Um, my blog kind of covers everything. I write a lot of uh, nostalgia-related stuff. I have commercials that I like to share with the world and uh, movies, TV shows, things. I've been writing about the Baby Sears Club, you know, frequently. It's something that I just kind of came back into after not being around it for like 20 years one year, something like that. I don't think I've read the books since I was 12, but, um, I kind of came back into that. So I've written a few things about the babysitter's club that, you know, I, which to me doesn't feel like the most dated series ever. And I absolutely love it. And that's on my own blog, but on this blog, I've been able to kind of expand on that love of stuff that I managed to rediscover. And that was something I rediscovered and I found things that I maybe forgot about, or new, but kind of were able to find more information about on Retroist. You know, I've been able to kind of expand on my writing, and um, I am so freaking proud of writing for Retroist that I actually have it as my job, as a job title on my Facebook page. That um, I want people to know that I'm a writer. That writing is like a job to me. Uh, even if I don't get paid for it, it's something that I love. It's something that I do, and it's something that um, makes me a whole person. Um, yeah, because I've been at my regular job for seven years, and I've been at this one for 
about a year and a half, and I just love calling this a job because it's just something that I enjoy doing, but it's something I love. It's, you know, my passion. It's my, you know, I, I've always hoped I could be a paid writer, but this has always been the greatest, like, step towards that. I don't ever feel like I'm burnt out writing for Retroist because I always have so much fun researching the articles that I write. Uh, internet's a fun place. <laughs> I don't know what I did without it, uh, but obviously I was able to, um, you know, find my, uh, my, find my voice and find my way. I think Retroist has gotten me to be a better writer because it continually challenges me to work harder, to sound good, to, you know, show the world that this is my voice and this is how I represent myself. Um, and obviously if you've read some of my stuff and you're listening to me talk right now, this is pretty much how I always am. I'm always very high energy. I've always got like this, like passionate tone to my voice when I'm talking about the things that I love. I'm very hand gesture, uh, you know, crazy. Uh, being an Italian doesn't help that either, but being a geek, it's, you know, like, you know, this and you get excited over, you know, the things that you talk about. Um, I just always love being able to share what I love with the world. And I love that the world shares back. They, you know, I've gotten, uh, you know, people said to me, oh, you know, I love what you wrote. And I, you know, gotten appreciation from some of the other writers and uh, just, you know, people that like have followed me on Twitter because of the stuff that I've written on Retroist, not necessarily just the stuff I write on my own blog. Um, I've made friends. I, uh, with a few of the other uh, contributors, uh, readers, you know, through, uh, you know, Retroist. And um, I love it. I love the bond that I've had with other people. I am back and forth messaging with, you know, some of the people. Uh, they have posted comments on Facebook on my articles. Names I've never even seen before. People I've never even met. And yet they just, they thank me for the stuff that I've written. And I love that appreciation just is what drives me to continue to do it. As long as there is a retroist, I will be there with bells on, uh, sending my articles once a week. Um, I'd love to do more. I wish I could. I Maybe this year would be different. Maybe I could actually contribute more than one a week. Um, you know, not just like these, like, long, like, you know, maybe like one long article a week, one short article a week. I would really love to try to get, you know, more out there. Um, I started actually writing for Retroist in July of 2015. Uh, my first article was about the Action Max game, uh, Blue Thunder. Uh, if you've never heard of Action Max in a nutshell, it's this uh, VHS game system that really was a colossal flop. It was made by Worlds of Wonder. It lived and died within one year, and it was like the last year that Worlds of Wonder really was in business. And um, I had the system... But I didn't have the game. I didn't have uh, this game. Apparently, for how great the game actually was in comparison to the other four Action Max games, this was the hardest one to find. Um, YouTube is an amazing uh, platform for, uh, you know, finding the weirdest and most obscure stuff. And I was able to find it. And I had written about Action Max a few other times on my previous blog. I actually have written a few things on my current blog about it. Um to a lesser extent. Uh, and um, I just really, like, I said, oh, I said, I really got to do something good, something big for my very first Retroist article. And that was my introduction to the site. And I've been back ever since. I've shared commercial stuff. I've shared, as I've said, I've shared music stuff. I write about holiday stuff, um, you know, when it's appropriate. Um, I've done tributes, unfortunately. I don't think some of these tributes I've written were very appropriate uh, because they were parodies of somebody who passed away, but I'm, you know, that's, I find, you know, like comfort in things through humor. Um, I do try to bring that humor, my humor, uh, when it's obviously appropriate to, you know, what I write. I love, you know, to write an article that people can just picture the voice of the person that's uh, writing it and um, has the energy. And I've been told I have a lot of energy uh, with my work. So I'm trying to convey that here, hoping I'm you know, somewhat successful uh, in doing that. Um, as I said, as long as there is Retroist, I will be there. Whatever I am asked to do, if I'm asked to contribute something, I would be like more than happy to do it. Um, 
I just, I love having that perfect balance of writing for myself and writing for, you know, an audience. And uh, I really want to continue to do that, if not just on Allison's Written Words, but also on Retroist. And to continue to give me that little niche that I absolutely need, that absolutely fuels my writing. Um, and continues to make me a better writer. Um, all right. Uh, I think that's it. I just, I'm like, again, thank you, Retroist, for everything. You have absolutely made my writing life uh, the joy that it is for me. And I'm hoping that I never, ever have a moment where I'm going to lose sight of that again. I had started to uh, almost two years ago. There were just a few things that were going in my on in my life. And I'm glad that I was able to decide this is exactly what I needed to be doing. This is what filled, you know, the void that I had needed of, you know, like the empty space in my life that I had needed filled. And this absolutely did it for me. This and even like reviving my own blog uh, has, you know, helped. So, again, thank you. Thank you, Retroist. Uh, you mean the world to me. I will continue to be there uh, to help you out. Thank you.